Hello everyone, today I'm here with the brand new stencils from the mini beach release. I'm going to use all three of them. That was the mermaid stencil, the ocean wave stencil, and also the shell stencil. So I'll do two samples of each of these. So no project, just backgrounds today and we'll get right into it. And here is three of the colors. I'll be using more than that. And as you can see, there's writing on top. I'll be putting what color I'm using at the time. So there we go. We're going to start. And what I did with this is I did all the similar patterns in the same colors. So keep it easier that way. So this one's going to be nice and bright. So I tried to give two different looks to them. So it helps to see and maybe you'll like it and you want to try it too. So there. Just a few more, I think. yellow and I thought it'd be nice to put the yellow for the little stars so this one's really bright and the next one is very pale subtle really beachy I, I love both of them probably use one of these for the challenge on Sunday. So yes, there's going to be a new challenge coming up soon. And I'm going to start another color with the pink. Yeah, I didn't use the stencil on my project when it was release day because if you haven't seen I have a video of my album so it's a pretty fun one and a long one <laughs> but yes that's what I did was an album so I thought it would be cool to take all three and show how I would create with them and if you're not familiar with a Jada Blossom stencil, they are amazing. And there we switch again. Doing a little shell. I just thought it'd be easier just to write them on top because sometimes I go too quick and I miss it and then I stress about it. <laughs> so I rather just have it on top here. And I used a lot of them. So if it was just a few of them, it'd be different. But like I said, so I'm making six backgrounds on this video, two of each. more we're getting there it's almost there So there's this one. I have one more after this. And then we're done with this one. And then we'll do the framing. I love putting a blue frame around it. Especially this one is like under the sea with all the seashells or on the beach. So I had to frame it up. 
and it adds so much to it. So this is the last color we'll bring in, but I do go through and give the green, the first one that I did, another coat. See, just to brighten it up and because I did touch it with other colors I mean it's not perfect there is a little bit of touch a different like different um, colors on on them but that's all right always cool the reveal there it is look how pretty it is you can leave it like that it's pretty pretty as is but I'm gonna tape it back up and put some blue around and go around like I said I'm just gonna do around it just the edge and it adds so much I find But these are samples so if you're doing a project say you cut a square then you do your edges then these are like I said sam samples for the store so when you cut it you might not get up the blue on the side or whatever so I always have to remember what color I put the edge so if I need to touch up one of the sides so there it is look how beautiful that is and here is some of the colors I'll be using for this one. I think the last one I just used for some speckles on it. But like I said, I will add the color I'm using at the time. And like I did to the other one, I'm just doing the same pattern in the same colors. And if you haven't seen the new release, the mini beach release over at Jada Blossom, go check them out. There are, there's, it, they're amazing. New dyes, these three new stencils. Yes. There's another one. And this brush is going to be a little dirty because I used it for this darker color. So I'm going to go back onto the one that I just, just made, uh, just covered. And um, just blend it so I darken it up a little bit more. You'll see that in a second here. So see, I did put the two colors that it is. So yeah, I'm just go over the one right before because it is a very light color. It would show up much better if you use white paper instead of craft paper, but I wanted to try the craft paper. There's another color. And I'm covering again with the same pink, just giving it two coats. Yeah, 
So I try to bring in a lot of different browns on there so it's not all the same color. So this one's a little bit more red. So I do cover the little stars a few times because it's a really pale blue. Try not to be too loud. My husband is still in bed doing this very early in the morning. <laughs> so don't want to bug him. does have to get up in a half hour there's some racing we have to watch the racing so there is a project look how it's very light and I'll tape it up and I'm gonna go in and do the edge and you'll see when I do the edge it covers the image and it pops up the image more if you can see that it's it's like magic it is it's kind of weird so i will go through almost all the stencil that i did because like i said it help pops the image i'm not sure if you can see it but i see it it's it's really cool Yeah, make sure that the edge are nice and brown. And now I'm taking this one and I'm going to do some speckles on top. And then I'm going to use a different color again. So two different browns to do these little speckles on there. it looks like at the beach on the beach and I'll bring it closer look how pretty that is I, I love the way it came out so there is all three colors I could have used just one of the dark ones because you barely see the difference so yeah I thought you know you might see a little bit more but not really So I'm going to do a little bit and skip, do a little bit and skip, because this takes a long time just to cover it. I'm not sure if that's the one. There's one, yeah, there's one here. It's this one. Um, my fingers were a little dirty because of the one I just made. But that's okay. You don't see it anyways at the end. And then we'll go in with this one. So this one has a little bit more steps than the next one. And the next one, I'm telling you, it's super easy. And it looks so pretty. And it's so simple. So I'm just doing the bottom with this color and then I'll go in on the top with the next dark color. And like I say, there's not really much difference. And then I'm going to go in with a paste on top to give some white um, layers. So especially with that, you don't see there's a difference in blues. But I had to try it never know and I water it down and take some of the water off it shows a little bit but I was kind of disappointing it didn't do too much so that's why I went in with some white paste and I'll show you that in a bit
and I'm just using a dabber from Tim Holtz that I used to use for uh, my inking but now I use only brushes love using the brushes so I'm trying not to cover all my blue I just want a little bit of white here and there And I'll write what paste I used. You can use any kind. I just had this one on hand and it was uh, all dried up because a lot of my paste are all dried up. I had to go through my cupboard and throw a lot of them out. So paste, if you want to use them, do a bunch of project with it because if you put it away, most of them will dry out and they're garbage. So here we go, this is the easy one. So I'm gonna cover the whole background with the same color. So all I do is use two colors of blues and that's it, super easy. Like the other one, I'll just do a little bit and skip a bit. We're almost done that part. Making sure my background is all nice and covered. And I'll take this one and I'm just dragging from the top down and more pressure on the top and then down. That's all I'm doing. So then your wave are just co covered on the top part. Super easy, like I said. And reveal that. See? So you don't want to go up and down, just going downwards. That's it. So there is all three that I'm going to use on this one. And I'll write it on top so you know. So for the mermaid one, I thought it'd be pretty with all three of the colors. So I'm kind of trying to um, space it so then there's kind of equal for each of the colors. And I'm going to go back and forth with them. So I'm trying to blend them together as best I can. It's not perfect, but when is it? <laughs> it's all good. You want to just make that it's pleasing to your own eyes, right? <laughs> so I'm going over a little bit of the pink. And I grab back my pink and go over that. Just going back and forth. So I'm going in with the green on the bottom now. I love the way this one came out. Look how pretty. So 
so pretty. And there, I'm going to use uh, some glitter gel on this one. And uh, this is where I, I went through all my gels and most of the paste, they're all dried up. And you can tell this one, I just found a few places that I can scoop some out. So like I say, if you have some of these, use them all up. Do a bunch of stencils at a time. Because if you put it away for a few months, you're going to be disappointed and they're going to be all dried up on you. That or you have a way to store them better than I do. I just close them up and yeah, they get all dried up. And they're so pretty, so pretty to use. I love these pastes. But I'm having a hard time. So I'm trying to cover the whole thing. There's just one spot right on top there that I get a little too much of it. But that's okay. There are big panels. Where I'm touching there, I have a little bit too much. This is my daughter's favorite. She loves the way it came out. It's, it's bling. It's shiny. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. So I'll point out right there. I have too much. But that's okay. So there, I'm going to show you again all three of the new stencils that are available at Jada Blossom. And one more, the shell. That one's my favorite. I love that one. So fun. And I'll show you my um, backgrounds again. How they came out and they're all nice and dry now. I wish my mat in the back was a little bit bigger. <laughs> it would be pretty. So there are my shells. So like I said, that one's very subtle. And this one's nice and bright. And the last one. There you go. So I'm going to put all of my backgrounds on there. And I hope that gives you some ideas on how to use these and you like my bra uh, backgrounds. <laughs> and yeah, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.